What guidelines do authorities and first responders use to communicate with society and vice versa? Written communication guidelines are very important. This is not just a bureaucracy. It promotes effective process of crisis and risk communication, and it allows the transference of knowledge and finally contributes to societal resilience. Communication guidelines vary from instructions on what channels should be used for communication and how to use them technically, call scenarios and protocols on what questions to ask and what information is important to gather during an emergency, and how to design a strategy for communicating with the public and vice versa. We analyzed the activities and resources of authorities and first responders and interviewed professionals across seven countries. Here, the image was complex. In most of the cases, written communication guidelines were partly implemented in the general guidelines of risk management. There were very few independent communication guidelines focusing on how to communicate possible emergencies and instructions to different segments of the public. For example, people who are unaware of certain risk compared to how we communicate to people who are aware but not sure how to prepare and compared to people who are aware but they think that they know what to do but do not think it will help. Different communication strategies should be employed to these various groups. Therefore, we recommended to deepen and widen the written guidelines also to include the existing professional knowledge of crisis and emergency risk communication.